Hello there and welcome back to this video series on control system. In the previous video, we have seen block diagram reduction rules and their mathematical meaning. We saw that a block diagram is a pictorial representation of a set of equations and reduction rules mean mathematical operations that involve eliminating one intermediate unwanted variable. After watching this video, a student will be able to simplify block diagrams with overlapping loops. Though this video is expected to be almost self-contained, I would strongly urge you to stop here, watch the videos 5, 6 and 24, take detailed notes, keep the notes handy and then come back to watch this video. That way you will be able to make the most out of this video. With that we will see how we apply the block diagram reduction rules to simplify a couple of block diagrams given as examples. To begin with let us watch this block diagram given here. See these blinking uh, transfer function blocks G1, G2, G3 in series, of course in G1, G3, G2, slightly swapped in the order, it doesn't matter. When you see such series blocks, you represent all the three of them with one block, which is the product G1S, G2S, G3S. So I would urge you to draw this block diagram. Keep in mind that you are applying the series blocks rule. Okay, uh, we do that uh, by showing it here. Let me click here. Okay, we will erase this and put this block in the place. You can see how it is done. It is erased and this one block is in this place. So you draw this schematic and say that this is after first step. Okay, after first step of simplification your block diagram looks like this. Then we will look at these three, G4, G5, G6. This G4, G5, G6 are in parallel. We know that when transfer function blocks are in parallel, going to a common summing point, you replace them by their uh, algebraic sum. If you have all positive signs, you will say G4 plus G5 plus G6. For example, if this is negative, you say G4 plus G5 minus G6 and so on. So let us go to the second step and see what we do there. Okay, You see these blinking, we are going to simplify these. Okay, So we will erase this and put this block in its place erased and the block went there. So this is the stage of the block diagram after the second step. You may want to pause this video and draw this second step. Okay, so we will redraw this in the next slide and notice that what is blinking in here is a feedback uh, block. Okay, one feedback segment. You have G1, G2, G3 in forward path and H2 in the feedback path. We will simplify that by using the rule G by 1 plus GH, except that you have a minus here. Why this minus is here? You can see it by carefully observing that it is a positive feedback system. You have a plus sign here. Had there been a negative sign here, you would have had a positive sign here. So we replace this whole box and put this box in its place. Okay, we are using, we are simplifying the feedback loop. Okay, we will erase that and take this and put it over there. You may want to draw this diagram that you see on the, on the screen block diagram and label it as the third step. Then you see that you have two blocks in series. Okay, You multiply them together. 
this big this big box you erase it and put this box there so i do that let me do that that is erased and you put this block over there you may want to draw this and write after fourth step okay after fourth step you notice that if you call this whole expression as x and this as y you have cs by rs is x by 1 plus xy g by 1 plus gh form here you have a positive sign because it is negative feedback system though it may appear a bit confusing and complicated if you walk through a couple of examples this example itself go back watch it from the beginning and see what is involved in each step if you see each step is a simple process we'll see another example of block diagram reduction you have a block diagram here with two overlapping loops this is one loop okay negative feedback loop and this is another loop this is also negative feedback you have an overlap for this region you can see that both the loops are touching this g2 such loops uh, we call them overlapping uh, loops to simplify notice that if you move this branch point hold this branch point and move it here see what happens if you move it here you have an outer feedback loop and an inner feedback loop thus realizing one independent loop that you can simplify easily so to show what we are doing we are moving this branch point from uh, input side of the transfer function to the output side let us see what happens if you move that if you move that you see originally let me go back originally the signal x is going to h2s okay even after simplification h2 should receive x only then only it would mean uh, we are reducing it maintaining equivalence relation that is uh, before simplification after simplification that is before reduction after reduction the transfer function remains the same so you move that x there so when you move it from here to here see what is happening here g3 is not multiplying x whereas if you move it here g3 is multiplying x that is what i am showing here if you move it there this x goes off and g3x comes in you see you have g3x and you want x here what do you do to eliminate this g3 divide by g3 so we do that exactly 1 over g3 once we do that we say we did one simplification step now you draw this diagram and label it first step we'll try to further simplify it uh, and show it in subsequent slide so we draw this diagram here and we note that this whole segment of block diagram is a feedback loop and you will have its transfer function in the form g by 1 plus gh in the place of g you have two blocks in series that is g2 g3 in place of h you have one if there is no multiplier shown in a uh, path it is taken to be one so this block you will remove whatever is this hole shaded and you put this block in its place let us do that erase it and you put the new block and this you say is the second step a third step you can show it as as shown in the subsequent slide you can see that these two blocks g2 and this hole they are in series you multiply them together and substitute by one block let me show that erase it and put it in its place now you see that you have a feedback loop 
with g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 g3 uh, in the feed forward path and h2 by g3 in feedback path. Uh, we will show this in the next slide. Okay, you have h2 and 1 by g3 in series. So you represent them by their product in a single block shown over here. Okay, let us do that real quick. That is erased and this block goes in the place. So you have a single loop. Okay. If you call this as X and this as Y, note that it is a negative feedback system. So you have X over 1 plus XY and you simplify it, substitute all these and what is X and what is Y and simplify it to get this. With that, we can give the summary as shown here. Block diagram reduction rules are explained in this video. Two examples are demonstrated and we have seen that reduction rules are really intuitive and you get a feel of them if you solve uh, several worked out examples and compare your solutions with uh, the solutions that are already available. Okay, I think that's all we have for now. Have a great day.